and it's great to see you. Welcome to class. Uh, today we are talking about uh, Brahmacharya, which is the fourth yama and the first limb of eight limbs of yoga. Um, this uh, I felt compelled to talk about today <sighs> as I'm uh, reflecting on everything that's going on woo, in the world right now. 2020 is something else. Um, I'm right now sandwiched between, uh, in, in Southeast Louisiana, between folks who have been affected by Hurricane Laura, which is a category four doozy, and folks who have been affected by Hurricane Sally. And I, I know that you know, I, have, I have family in both areas, so I'm seeing their messages about being out of power over here in Florida, <laughs> taking Navy showers. <laughs> and I hope, uh, and, and some, and some of these folks are, are kind of regular, have been regulars for um, class. And I hope that uh, in the chaos uh, of, and, and I'll say the upheaval and, and transformation of what's happened, um, that you're able to um, remember to come to uh, practice, whether it's, you know, five, 10 minutes a day, um, returning to a place of stillness. That, and that's particularly important, especially during changing times and when there's a lot going on. So I got, you know, so there's folks over here dealing with that and, and uh, Florida and Mississippi, Alabama area. Uh, and then I, my folks out in Lake Charles, you know, still not able to get into their homes. Some homes completely destroyed, life lost. And then we have the wildfires, not just on the West Coast, but across our world, Siberia, fires reaching the Arctic. Oof. And, and then we have this election going on in America that's, um, you know, where we're facing an existential situation here in our democracy. And um, it is a lot. And I, um, you know, when I, I think about one saying, because I worry, <laughs> is that uh, worrying is praying for what you don't want. <laughs> the, you know, the energy that you put towards that is the same energy that you could put towards prayer and what you do want to happen. And that's uh, so important with um, our life in general uh, is how we direct our energy. And so uh, I thought speaking about this particular yama, brahmacharya, would be a good thing to do today, uh, which is interpreted in different ways. Um, if you check out the readings, I'm please, I encourage you to do so. Um, it's often translated as a celibacy, but really it's more um, broad than that in terms of um, some may translate it as walking with God um, or, or walking in a higher um, path. So really having one's intention be uh, higher than the day-to-day, -day, you know, cravings and pleasures that come about. And so um, let's play with that today. And so really what this is all about is being intentional with our actions and uh, recognizing or moving towards a, a, 
a space or a place where we're doing what is needed um, and not reacting to what our likes and dislikes are and what our um, cravings are and aversions and, and being an instrument in this life to do what is needed. In what we, in whatever way we can, and uh, so that hi, Lewis. <laughs> that uh, that is what we will play with today. So let's settle in and come to a comfortable seat, whether that's in a chair or on the ground. In a, a comfortable seated position on the ground or sitting up high on a bolster or a block. And let's settle in and come to this moment. And because moving with intention uh, it is important that we proceed from a place of joy uh, so that uh, our actions arise from that. So first we must realize that our joy is independent as uh, one of my teachers, Swan Michelle, likes to say. Um, it's independent and regardless of our circumstances and what um, is around us at the moment or in our lives, um, we practice acceptance of what is so. Doesn't mean that we like it, but we acknowledge that this is, this is so. And in the midst of that, remember gratitude. And so in this space right now, bring awareness to where we are, whatever sounds might enter our awareness allowing it to be. Smells, sensations, sensations that touch our bodies, the air, the ground, our clothes, against our skin, gravity, internal sensations, and I'll invite you to bring awareness to whatever we feel inside the body, the physical body. Places that feel good. Places that might have some discomfort. Bring awareness to whatever is drawing without judgment and without reaction. Just observe. If it feels right, bring awareness to the heart. You might place a hand on the chest or at the apex of the heart, which is right um, 
beneath the left pec or breast. Placing a hand there to really feel the power of the heart, the engine that gives life to our bodies. Gratitude. And then they keep the hand there. I bring the hands to rest wherever feels right and come to stillness. Knowing that the full wellspring of joy originates in stillness. And with gratitude for this life force and all that we are capable of. And the mystery of what is even greater than this individual self. and how our power can be amazing. With gratitude and awareness to that, let's meet on all fours and push back into child's pose for a moment. And bring the head to rest on the ground. I just want to be sure this video is still moving and didn't stop. <laughs> I have the habit of doing that. Let's come. Stretch out the hands. May allow the, fore the forehead to rest on the ground. Allowing ourselves to feel connected and supported here. Knowing that we can come back to child's pose at any moment when it feels like this is what serves us best. Uh, during class today, I'll give options, and I encourage you to be intentional with which option you choose. Truly being an observer and recognizing the energy that moves through the body and doing what the body needs in that moment. Uh, some folks may have a tendency to um, push hard as their usual pattern, and some may uh, hold back. And just no notice that about yourself with your usual reaction might be to an option and be intentional about what may be needed rather than the craving that you have. Inhale forward 
and stack shoulders over wrists. And on the exhale, curl the spine towards the sky for cat pose, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin towards the chest. Inhale, drop the belly, curl the tailbone and chest towards the sky. Cow pose and exhale, push back. Seat to heels. We'll begin to move through our vinyasa with three options. And so remember to choose intentionally. And this is our first option in our flow. Inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, curl into cat pose. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, arch the spine towards the sky. Inhale, drop the belly, curl the heart open. Cow pose, and exhale, push back. One more, inhale forward. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, curl the heart open, drop the belly. Exhale, push back. Doing what is needed and what serves us best in this moment. And remembering what uh, serves us best is also what serves others best. And being honest about that. Second option, inhale, flow up. Stack shoulders. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, curl the heart forward. Baby cobra. And exhale, push back, seat to heels. Breathe. Observing the energy and with the intention of directing that energy in the best way. Third option. Inhale forward, stack shoulders, come up to plank pose. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, curl the heart forward, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. To breathe. And you might play with one way or another. Uh, but remember, you can always change and do what feels good, modify things, do what feels right. Now choosing uh, your way, inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, curl the heart forward. Exhale, push back. Ujjayi breath, audible breath. Constricting the back of the throat so that it sounds like the ocean. Or you might imagine fogging a mirror. The cleansing breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Exhale. Inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, curl the heart forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward, stack the shoulders. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. And if this is your first time dog of the day, go ahead and pick uh, any movements that feel right. Pedal out the feet. Let sway the hips from side to side. Make little micro adjustments. If it feels right to come down onto forearms, feel free to do so. Inhale and lift the right leg in the air. And exhale, step it through. You may ground the knee or keep the knee. Lift it, your choice, plant the left hand on the ground, open right hand up to the sky, open the heart to the sky, inviting a nice, you see twist in the low back, allow the shoulder blades to slide together, soften the face. Often the skin, inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, come to rise. An option is to have the knee grounded or lifted. Hands. Resting on the thigh or reach up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale one, dropping shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lengthening the crown. And exhale, curling the heart open towards the sky. Tailbone tuck, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, release, hands to the ground, exhale, uh, straighten that leg and fold forward over straight leg. Inviting a nice uh, stretch in the back of the thighs. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale, forward, plant that foot on the ground, plant the hands, and step, switch to the left foot forward, plant that right hand on the ground, knee can be grounded or lifted, open the heart towards the sky, right hand towards the sky, allowing the twist to originate at the base of the spine. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. 
Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, hand to the ground. Exhale, find our stability here. And on the next inhale, you may come to rise and bring that hand to the top of the thigh. And really here, pressing the pelvis towards the ground, inviting the uh, opening in the psoas. Finding our steady connection. You may keep the hands grounded. You may keep the knee grounded or lift the knee to a low lunge. And inhale, reach the hands to the sky. Exhale, one. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, curling the heart open. Tucking the tailbone, inhale. Exhale, opening up. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale and straighten that front leg. Exhale, bow forward over straight leg. Going in, inhale, exhale one, inhale, and this is a good time to also use blocks here, exhale two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, Come forward, planting that left foot. Plant the hand and exhale, push back to downward facing dog or move through your vinyasa you choose. Um, or you might also choose to rest in child's pose for a moment. But remember to be intentional about your choice and moving with a higher intention beyond uh, your likes and dislikes <laughs> and cravings. <laughs> Bisect each other to make a T. The knee should be stacked over the ankle or behind the ankle, but not over the ankle, meaning going towards the toes. Um, strong in the core, tailbone tucked. Bring uh, the shoulders to slide softly away from the ears, hands outstretched, sending our energy out, but also being an observer of how we are using our energy now. So what if I say we're going to stay in Warrior Two for the rest of class? <laughs> how would you adjust your pose now? Adjust your pose to get ready to stay in it for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you do that, but let's pretend and adjust to direct your energy correctly and in a way that serves your body best. 
so that you can maintain what it is that you are called to do in a way that is joyful and steady. If we feel a sense of uh, faltering and a need to back off a bit, pay attention to that. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale and straighten that front leg, exhale, pour forward for Utita Trikonasana, bring the hand to the leg, a block, the ground or your toe lock, you choose the option that serves you that will allow you to open the heart towards the sky. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, come to rise, exhale, bend in that left knee and bring the hand to the ground inside the left foot or to a block. Or you may choose to take the bind by sending the right hand behind the thigh and reaching the left hand to grasp and hold the bind. Inhale. Exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, five breaths, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, and release. Straighten that front leg and come to rise once again. I'm curious which options you guys chose. I hope you were intentional about it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Bring the hands to the hips and begin to walk that back foot in a bit and some of y'all might know where we're going with this shift the weight forward into the left foot and you can use your block or bring your hand to the ground find the wall we're going to move into Ardha Chandrasana and the wall can be a great place to um, put your back against and to allow you to fully access the pose um, and lean against the wall so if you're going for it, shift that weight into the left foot and begin to liberate that right foot off of the ground and open the hips, open the hips towards the sky. And if it's, if it's in you to play and go to your edge, that's, um, Examine, Let's be an explorer to um, play and see where is my edge <laughs> and playing within a, a, a safe boundary, practicing 
maybe some courage. But if what your body needs is rest right now, then give your body that. So next part is to reach the hand to the sky. And the last is to reach the gaze to the sky. Another option is to bring both hands to the ground instead of doing all the time. With one leg raised. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. And release the hand to the ground. If you're not already there, for Ekapada Uttanasana. Remembering our steady connection here. And if it feels good to go straight to Uttanasana, you don't have to follow everything that I'm saying. Follow what your body is saying. Inhale, exhale, and release. Both feet to the ground. For Uttanasana. And here you might. Give yourself a nice bend in the knees. That's what I like to do. Oh, here I am. That's me talking about my preferences. <laughs> so, let's just observe. Mm. Going in. You might use blocks to allow the hands to ground down. Or bend the knees if you need to to reach the ground. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Ah, step D. Uh, for you, you're going to step the left foot back. Uh, so that um, you come into a low lunge and um, cartwheel the hands up. So plant that, plant that left foot on the ground parallel to the back edge of the mat and cartwheel the hands up for warrior two. And again, setting ourselves up to remain in warrior two for the rest of class. Here we go. <laughs> Just kidding, but really. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hold this for a little while. So stack the knee over the ankle. Tuck the tailbone strong in the core. Allow the shoulders to softly fall away from the ears. But really uh, realizing our power and our energy, but directing it so that we can maintain this. So modify in what way that you need to, to allow you to hold this pose. Because sometimes we got to do that in order for things to be sustainable. Gaze over right fingertip. Inhale, exhale one, five breaths. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale. Inhale, five. Inhale and straighten that front leg. But that feels good. And exhale, pull forward, bringing hand to leg block or ground. Open the heart to the sky. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale, exhale two, 
Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Inhale. Come to rise. And exhale. Bend in the right knee. Bring hand to the inside of the foot to a block. Or take the bind. Reach the left hand behind. Grab hold. Inhale. Exhale one. You choose your option. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. And exhale, five. Uh, you can give that right leg a break, break and straighten it out. Shake it off if that's what you need. But begin to shift that weight into the right foot, so scoot that left foot in. Bring right hand to the ground. And again, option is also to do ekapada, um, one-legged uh, forward fold. But if you're moving towards Ardha Chandrasana, shift that weight, go to your wall. <clears throat> if you're gonna practice against the wall, liberate that back foot, open the hip, towards the sky, reach hand towards the sky, and reach gaze towards the sky, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. And release. Hand to the ground. Leg is raised in Ekapada Uttanasana. Going in. And remembering that our joy is within, regardless of what's happening outside, and regardless of what we're doing, how easy and sweet it is, or how challenging it is, we remain steady. And connected with joy. Release that foot towards the ground. And here you might hold on to opposite elbows and just sway from side to side. Or you might place the hands beneath the feet, um, bringing the soles and the palms together. Giving the hands a little massage. And release. <clears throat> Inhale, bend the knees, drop the seat. Reach up for chair pose. And exhale, stand tall. And Tadasana. <sighs> Feeling grounded here strong and mountain pose, feeling connected in all four corners of the feet, the toes may be touching or the feet may be uh, hips width distance apart, 
but squeeze the legs together as if you have a block between your legs to remind us to be engaged in our legs, tuck the tailbone, engage the belly, engage the core. Reach the crown towards the sky and allow the shoulders to fall away from the ears. Remembering that every asana, this is the root of every asana. So remembering how our body feels in this position. Inhale and reach the hands towards the sky. And exhale over to the right. Inhale back to center, nice and tall. And exhale over to the left. Moving with the flow. Inhaling, we rise. Exhale, we fall to the opposite side. the rhythm of your own breath, even as we are moving in this flow, we are still connected to a sense of stillness deep within. Inhaling and exhaling. being aware of our energy, being grateful for it, and knowing that we can direct it in an intentional way. Inhale to center, reach up. Open the heart and exhale, hands in prayer, uh, to prepare for our balance pose. Inhale and bring the left leg to the sky, so shift the weight into the right foot. And uh, hold on to the thigh, uh, to another a place where you can use the wall to assist or a chair uh, or choose your balance practice if you have one uh, that you're, you've been working with. But otherwise, you can follow me. Anywhere along the path, you can choose to stay and smell the flowers or uh, move forward. Straighten that front leg, and you can keep it there, uh, or use a strap, or if it's accessible to you, reach for your big toe in yogi toe lock. So if you have a strap, you may connect like this, or if it's accessible, grabbing yogi toe lock to the big toe. Inhale, exhale, and stay here. Or we'll open that foot out to the side. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale. Three, and bring that leg back to center. Release uh, the foot back to the ground. Good job, guys. Next side, shift the weight into the left foot, ground down, and all four corners. Or we might remember Tadasana. 
the root of all, uh, of every asana. So we may stay in Tadasana or shift that weight and lift the right leg towards the sky. Grab hold underneath the thigh or grab yogi toe lock or use a strap and reach that foot out in front. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You might send that foot out to the side. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. You got it. Inhale. Exhale, three. Five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Inhale and bring that leg back to center. And exhale intentionally. Release. <laughs> Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward down to the ground. Inhale, lift the heart and the gaze halfway. Exhale, lower, folding in. And I'll open the feet to a 45 degree angle. Face you. And come to squat for Malasana, Goddess Pose. Returning to our intention, your intention for your practice today. Or even just letting go of any thoughts and allowing ourselves to receive, just receive right now. Open the eyes and bring the seat all the way to the ground. Feet together in Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lengthening the crown towards the sky. And exhale, staying here or folding forward. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale and come to rise. Um, exhale. And how much time do we have? Not a whole lot. Press the um, feet to straight. And Dandasana, reaching the crown once again, lengthening the spine. And exhale, fold forward. Um, and you might um, play with um, Pashimottanasana here. Or do what feels good as we're wrapping up. It might be um, Janu Shirshasana to open up the hips a bit, bringing that foot, uh, one foot in and fold it forward over. But if you're uh, choosing Janu Shushasana, um, be sure to do the same thing on the opposite leg. But take a moment here once again to go in. Observing what your body is calling you to do, what it needs, 
not what you want. <laughs> And allowing our desires, the more we practice um, in terms of having an intention uh, towards brahmacharya, we'll, we find that our desires align with what is needed. And when you're ready, plant your feet on the ground. And inhale, lower down, slowly allow the feet to fall away and the legs to fall, the arms and hands to fall open towards the sky for Shavasana. Letting everything go. Shavasana. When you're ready, roll over to one side and allow yourself to rest for a moment. Resting in a sense of gratitude for the energy that we do have in our capacity and power. And having the intention to direct it in a way that brings us to our higher selves, brings us closer to our highest intention. And when you're ready, press yourself into a comfortable seated position. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a beautiful day. That the light in me honors the light in you, and I am so grateful for you. Namaste.